My name is Crystal Salvin. I am a salsa sponsored athlete and I ride the Salsa Warbird. I am able to use it on gravel. I bring it out on the road. I do bike packing on it. Even though the bike is a gravel specific bike, I find myself being able to do so much with the bike. Big thing for me in a bike is being able to be comfortable. I have a pretty severe hip injury, which depending on the bike, I end up in an, an outrageous amount of pain within a few miles of riding. So being able to tackle terrain is a big part of the choice of the bike, the geometry of the bike. Desert Gravel, which is the race I did a few weeks back, within the first 10 miles, it was like some really chunky, gnarly, tough terrain that the bike handled it way better than I think most people's bikes did. And it was almost like I had a suspension underneath me. My name is Matt Acker and I'm a salsa athlete. I find that when I'm doing a lot of like specific training or trying to get speed work in or do say fast group rides, I pretty much always default to the war road. Rolls great, it handles well, but it's still comfortable for long rides, which is important to me. It's, you know, it's confident if you want to sneak off on a couple gravel roads to connect up some neat routes. First ride I ever did on one, was I was planning to do an Everest down in North Carolina, rode nearly 200 miles on it with 30,000 feet of climbing. And I was just blown away, like the bike was amazing. I kind of faded away from doing much road riding and it really brought me back to that love of getting out on some pavement. My name is Crystal Kovacs. I'm a salsa-sponsored athlete that lives in Southwest Wisconsin. I would describe myself as an adventure cyclist and a recreational cyclist. We ride gravel, we ride off-road. Um, very little time is spent on actual asphalt. Cutthroat is my favorite all-day adventure bike. I can go on any surface on it. It's kind of like an old friend. I call mine Norm. It's the bike I choose every time that I want to go out all day. I don't necessarily maybe know where I'm going or what we're getting into, but the bike performs flawlessly and I love it. It rides better, actually I think loaded, than it does unloaded. We loaded up for four days, three nights. I had all the gear I needed. I had all the space I needed to do it. So if I only had one bike, I'd have the cutthroat.